This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Okay, first off, Pablo Hoodrich Pablo won. Gucci Mane kicked him off the label because he was getting, you know, he's getting got too much. Okay, you know, insurance companies didn't want to insure that jewelry anymore, and he was getting got too much. Now that could happen to anybody. Okay. But it was just happening back to back to back. Now Hoodrich Pablo Juan is very mad that Gucci Mane got rid of him. He has a new artist. He has two new artists. Uh, one from Memphis and then he has one from Georgia. I think he has two from Memphis now. And he's putting out videos with them. I'm going to be honest with you. Oleron, eh, he's all right. The other one I haven't checked out yet and I will check him out. But he's definitely going for the new 1017. He keeps revamping the label. He let go of everybody from the last one. Hoodrich Pablo Juan was talking a lot of ish on his Instagram the other day saying, you know, talking about disloyalty and how people are, are going to lose their money and all this other stuff and calling people the B word. And some of that was directed at Gucci. Some of that was directed at all his other ops. He's got a lot of them. Okay. Next up. Takashi might go number one. He's predicting that he's going to get, you know, they're not going to let him. But he says, this post is to my fans. My fans only. You guys are unstoppable. You guys are relentless. The best. Zero radio play. Zero, zero radio play. Zero playlisting. Apple and Spotify. And they still did big numbers. Um, he said, I'm staying off Instagram till billboard charts come back. Uh, we, put in, we put up the best... Uh, resistance is possible. Uh, they say it's blackballing, but it's fine because the barbs and the trolls are unstoppable. Then he goes on to say, zero radio plays, zero playlisting, deny trolls major playlisting that every rapper gets. We want, we went against the music industry. It's true. Now I'm not saying every, you know, I don't I'm saying I love everything this guy does, but you know, he is putting up a good fight and not getting a fair shake. But Although his co-defenders didn't get a fair shake either, right? <laughs> Let's put it that way. So then um, we got X's mom reacting to trying to take money from her, okay? Taking her to court for $11 million. Sucks. Um, so anyways, she's, she says, I got to wake up to this two years after my son passes. I feel her. It seems like a money grab. I don't know, man. It's just, that's a messy situation with family and money and... That's where things get kind of evil. Um, oh, let's get to Morgan Freeman in a second. Morgan Freeman is one of my favorite people on earth. And he put up something about Juneteenth. We'll get that in a second. Lastly, let's get to 50 Cent follows up with South, Big Southwest T. Big Meech's brother. They talk about, you know, filming and everything. I think he talked to Big Meech Mob too. And they kind of, you know, we're just talking about, you know, working on the... The, the I'm sorry, working on the BMF series together and everything. And hopefully Big Meech comes out. We'll see, you know, but uh, that'll make it so much better, you know, so. And they could tell authentic stories and everything. But, you know, he's got a lot of people to work with around the camp. Lastly, we got Morgan Freeman. Okay. Morgan Freeman says something about Juneteenth. Something really nice. This is one of my favorite people in the world is Morgan Freeman. He says... Juneteenth commemorates emancipation from slavery and celebrates the culture and achievements of African Americans. This date is considered to be the official end of slavery. On June 19th, 1865, Major Gordon Granger, Granger, <laughs> whatever you say, and his union of troops arrived in Galveston, Texas to deliver the news that the war had ended and that the enslaved were now free. This event took place two and a half years after President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which declared all slaves free as of January 1st, 1863. That's not that long ago, if you really think about it. I mean, it's less than 200 years ago, right? Um, then uh, he says, uh, Black Lives Matter. So that's awesome, man. Morgan Freeman's like, such an insightful guy. I love hearing him talk. I love his interviews. Such a positive person. Talking about positivity. Stay focused today. Look in the mirror. You're worth it. You're, you're amazing. You can achieve whatever you want. Don't let anybody 
talk you out of your goals. You know, if you want to start a company, you know, we're talking about business goals. If some, if you want to start a company, someone says it's never going to happen. There's this, or you want to start an ice cream. And someone's like, Oh, there's so much ice cream out there. I've seen like 20 different ice cream brands come out on the shelves in the past five years. Okay. There's always room for something new. There's always room for something fresh and there, you always are going to have a different perspective. So don't let people stop you from coming up with new ideas and trying something. All you can do is fail, man. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And when you fail, you really learn, okay? And when you fail, you learn and you do better the next time. And sometimes you get 20, 30, maybe 100 fails until you get to that one win. But it makes it so much more worth it, man. So just know that don't let anybody ever stop you. And just know that you're bigger than anybody tells you you are. You know, if someone says you're only going to be this, this is what you're going to be. You could be much bigger than that. Always know that. You just got to put the work in. I appreciate you guys. Now check you. You know, people really project their own freer, fears on you. Always remember that. Their own fears are projected on you. Okay? You got to you got to block out the noise. Stay focused. Don't let anybody get you down. Don't let anybody make you give up, okay? You are equal to everybody else and you got the same 24 hours and you can do it. I promise you you can do it. I believe in you, okay? I'll check you guys in the next one.